Welcome to the most popular hydraulic wrench in history, the MXT. Modern industrial bolting demands power, accuracy, and versatility all in a compact, rugged package. That's what you get with the MXT square drive line from High Torque. And because it carries the High Torque name, you know it is made with the finest of materials, fit, and finish that 40 years of innovation and excellence can produce. Let's take a closer look at the MXT and point out some of its award-winning features. Like all high torque square drive tools, the body of the MXT is machined from a solid block of titanium aluminum alloy that gives it the strength of steel at half the weight. Each angle and contour of the radius, throat, and head of the tool has been carefully designed for maximum accessibility even in the tightest spaces. The detachable safety handle adjusts to any position to keep the operator's hands out of danger. Let's take a look at the MXT in action. Before we begin, we should first put on our personal protective equipment. At a minimum, this should include safety glasses with side shields, sturdy gloves and steel-toed shoes. Of course, job conditions and local work rules may require other safety items such as hearing protection, face shields, hard hats, and fire or chemical resistant clothing. Nothing is as important or as urgent as your safety. Check the condition of the hoses, connectors, and the general condition of the tool and accessories for any obvious damage. Any defects must be corrected before pressurizing the system. As with all high torque wrenches, the MXT comes in a range of sizes to tackle virtually any bolting challenge from the smallest to the largest. Each size is assigned a number corresponding to that tool's maximum torque output in thousands of foot-pounds at the maximum pump pressure of 10,000 PSI. So at maximum pump pressure, the MXT3 will deliver approximately 3,000 foot-pounds of torque, while the MXT5 will produce 5,000 foot-pounds at the same pressure. The MXT3 has a 1-inch square drive, while the 5 has an inch and a half drive to handle the higher torque without damage. Knowing the torque range of each tool in advance makes it easy to choose the right model for the job at hand. The MXT is powered by hydraulic oil from a pressure regulated pump system connected to the tool by special high test hoses. Note that both the male and female unions feature a small spring-loaded check ball which must be fully seated for the oil to pass. Ensure that the hydraulic hoses are firmly screwed to the uniswivel using only finger-tight force. Even the slightest loosening of the threaded connector will shut off the flow of oil preventing a high-pressure leak that could otherwise be dangerous to the operator. Do not defeat this important safety feature by substituting other connectors that may not be rated for these 10,000 PSI pressures. Let's assume that the job at hand is tightening this inch and a half grade B7 stud and two and three eighths inch nut using this MXT3. And let's further assume that the target torque for this bolt is 1,080 foot-pounds. As the term foot-pound implies, that is a tightening force equal to 1,080 pounds at the end of a foot-long bar. That's a lot of torque. Since the output torque of the tool is set by regulating the pump pressure, we must consult a pressure-to-torque conversion chart for the specific tool we are using, in this case the MXT3. Reading down the foot-pound column, we find 1,088, which is very close to our target. Reading across to the left column, we find the corresponding pressure setting is 3400 PSI. You can interpolate the values if your target number is not shown exactly, and the chart also allows you to convert torque in kilogram meters or newton meters to PSI or to pressure in bar if needed. Often bolts are required to be tightened in increments rather than all at once. This is done simply by choosing a lower pressure corresponding to the percentage of final torque desired on each pass. Reset the pressure in stages until the final value is reached, but for our demonstration we will simply tighten to the target torque without any intermediate steps. With the pump set at 3400 PSI, we are ready to go to work. 
The socket and drive should be inserted so that the word tighten can be read on the opposite side of the tool. Since the drive is offset from the piston inside the tool, when viewed from above the socket, the advancing piston will turn the drive and socket clockwise, tightening the nut. Attach the safety handle to avoid any pinch danger. Place the tool on the application, checking to make sure that the reaction point is secure, the wrench is fully engaged, and the hoses are not in danger of being kinked or damaged. Note that the reaction arm should be rotated so that it rests against an adjacent nut in the same plane as the nut to be tightened. It is a good idea to bump the control button before starting to tighten, just to check how the wrench will react under pressure. Ratchet the wrench until it stalls at the preset pressure and the nut will no longer turn. Be patient on the last few strokes as the socket will move very slowly. If in doubt, always try another stroke. Remove and reposition the wrench on the next nut to be tightened and proceed with your bolting plan. When removing a nut or bolt, we are not concerned with an exact torque value, only that our tool has sufficient power to break it loose. Turn the pressure up on the pump to add or near maximum, giving the wrench its full power. Reverse the direction of the MXT by removing and reinserting the drive and socket into the tool so that the word loosen can be read on the side opposite the socket. Fit the wrench, once again checking the reaction point and the hoses for proper position. Bump the button and observe the wrench to make sure it is secure. Press and hold the actuator button until the nut moves counterclockwise. Continue to loosen until it can be removed by hand. If the nut will not move at 10,000 PSI, you will need a larger wrench with more power. So there you have it, the best-selling hydraulic wrench ever made, the MXT. Please ask your local High Torque representative to demonstrate the MXT on your applications and let you take it for a test drive.